Good morning! So my apologies for the long absence. Um, things have been a little bit crazy with school and work, but I will try to get videos up a little bit more frequently. Um, starting with this one, which is going to be a flip through of my black traveler's notebook. So I've had this one for a little while and have been using it for a while, so I thought it was time to do a flip through. So first off, I have this beautiful charm from Start Bay Notebooks. So I just have him on here. And to open them up, so you can see I've got little bits and bobs that I stuff in. Um, actually, that's kind of what I use this folder for. Um, I basically just stuff in things that I'm like, I want to put this in a spread, I just don't know where yet. You can see I have not yet decorated this folder. So to start from the beginning, I have the plastic zip folder. So I've got the zip folder in the back. Um, it's currently a little light on uh, things, but I usually keep stickers and like little small bits of paper in here so I don't lose them. And I have made a dashboard from a piece of scrapbooking paper for the front, followed by my craft folder. So there are the little pockets here that I put other little bits of things, usually from Happy Mail or cutouts from magazines. I've got, let's see, journaling cards. I've got bits of Happy Mail. This is from a magazine, something I painted, a uh, masking fluid experiment. And this is actually a card folder, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a little line right here. So when you unstick it, you can actually put a credit card sized piece of paper in here. And I actually have this in my in my journal, so I will show you that in a bit. So basically just various paper uh, bits and pieces. And then I have the blank insert that the notebook came with. I have decorated it. So I have a piece of Happy Mail with my um, sunshine and stationary initials from Haley at Lee Journals. And I have this beautiful embossed flower from Jamie of Sun Lantern, so I've put that on here. And then I have this labeled as volume one, so whenever I finish this, if I start another, then I can kind of remember the order in which I did them. Because I used to be really bad about not uh, dating things, and then I would go back and think, well, when did I do this? So I'm trying to get better about that. And inside, so I've also dated, I'm trying really hard guys, <laughs> I have dated in, on the inside box here. I, um, I got these binder clips from Tools to Live By and so I cut out part of the package and I made a little like folder. I just don't have anything in it quite yet. And then I basically am using this as an art journal. So this was my first spread um, that I then went back and added um, things to later. So I use pieces from magazines. This was from the Traveler's Notebook information. I use washi tape, um, happy mail, all sorts of things. Um, so you can see here, I've got kind of a vintage style and I journal and do collages. Um, I have some stamps that I use. I actually got a steampunk set of stamps that are really cool looking. I use distress inks as well. Um, and yeah, so basically this is just a place for me to art journal and create pieces and then you know write about whatever was going on uh, at the time. And basically to just play around with. Um, sometimes I'll do tip-ins. This was actually from Christmas Happy Mail, so I did a little tip-in and put little bits in there. Oops, here we go. Um, this is actually, there's this gorgeous piece in Daphne's Diary, which is a, um, like a art scrapbooking catalog, uh, not a catalog, magazine, that's the word. Um, and I loved the entire spread, so I basically took the key points of it and put it on here, and sometimes I'll write over when I've got a collage piece like this, but I really liked how it looks, so I only wrote um, on the craft paper side that I had put in because I didn't want to mess it up. Um, and you can see it's been pretty busy. The last time I actually wrote in here was in January. I need to get back on that. Um, but here's my little little pocket thing. Um, but you'll see that I kind of will create spreads. Whenever I have sort of a brainstorm about a spread, I'll make it. And then I'll get to writing in it on it later. Um, so this was one I actually made back in winter, um, which is no longer relevant. But I thought he was really cute. So you know what? He just is what it is. Um, and this is actually the last spread I have in here. I will be doing some more, hopefully, 
in a bit, but I really just haven't had time to work on it. Um, the one concern I have is that with the way I do my collages, uh, the journal is getting very, very thick. Um, so I might need to rethink and not always do full page because I use a lot of like craft paper, which basically doubles up the the weight of the page. Um, and I'm worried that eventually this is, this is not going to close anymore. Um, <laughs> but I like how it looks, so we'll see. So my next insert in here is actually a, a junk journal that I made. Um, and I actually learned about junk journaling from My Life Mitts. She is on YouTube. I'll put a link down, by, down below. And... Um, so I decided to kind of try my hand at making a junk journal. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I've made a couple others since. Um, and I might show you a few of them if I still have them. Some are gifts for people. So, But this is the first one I made. Um, so I basically made a cover using scrapbooking paper. So you'll see here. Oops, somewhere in here. There we go. Scrapbooking paper. I love this. Like It's a sewing theme with numbers on the inside. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so I made the cover with scrapbooking paper and then I picked different pieces. So for example, um, this is from Flow Magazine, so it's just a piece that I then covered. This was from Sephora from their like Christmas thing. I've, I save old envelopes and I put them in here. I've got like colored computer paper, art paper. Um, I've got somewhere in here. So for example, this was another page from Flow Magazine that I then later went back and did this quote in because I thought it was really pretty. Um, I've got pieces from like a s vintage paper book that I've got. So various things like that. So here, I'll do a quick flip through. So I was starting out, this was the day I got my stamps, so I was playing around with those. And then again here, this is my junk journal. So I've got some collages. Um, this was just a random page. I was playing with this gold ink I had and trying to figure out like things to do with it sort of. So it looks kind of messy, but hey, um, this is one of those card. Oh dear, it sticks in there. So this is one of those card um, slots and I just put it on vertically. Um, obviously this is, this is an artist trading card, so it's just a little bit too big, but it actually kind of wedges in there, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, you can just stick these in here, and I know people use them for like Polaroid photos or business cards or what have you, so they're really handy. Um, so this, this was actually a page from a magazine, and that's so why I just sort of created the spread on the side to match the colors. This was sort of a memory spread from Christmas Happy Mail, so things, um, who sent me things and um, bits of like ephemera and package decorations from people who sent me Happy Mail. This was for, I did two Etsy orders for washi tape, so I wanted to remember the two I had there. This was from the Christmas present that my boss gave me, or she gave all of us. And I've got, so this was from birthday goodies. So I wrote some information. I finally caved and bought myself some new Longchamp um, bags for Christmas. So I put that in here. I did a, I had a Goulet order from my parents for my birthday. So I did a little spread here as well as happy mail from Haley of Haley Journals for my birthday. So I did a little spread there too. Let's see, this was another random piece from a magazine that I really liked and just wanted to save. Oops. This was that lettered spread I showed you guys before. This is a spread that I just did after my day in Paris with Bujo Boosted. Um, so I had my train times, where we went, what we ate, kind of what we did. This was from the Shakespeare Book Company. We went to the cafe there. And um, this is fairly simple because we actually just um, <laughs> bought a lot of stationery. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have as many little pieces to put on here. And uh, at some point I probably should do a haul of the stationery I got. I will have to see if I can pull everything um, together. But yeah, so this was just a little memory page from that. Then this was a memory page from my trip to London back in January. So I stopped, it's rare for me to stop at Starbucks, but it was gonna be a long day and I just wanted some coffee and I liked how I kept the sleeve specifically to make a tip in. <laughs> so it was kind of an ulterior motive. Um, so I created a little pocket tip in with this and I didn't actually take the tube, but I thought it was cool to have a little tube map because I also have tube washi tape. Um, and then my train times and various things. Then this was for some recent 
stationery that I purchased, not all from the same place. I got this in London and I got this here in Rouen, so go figure. Um, and then Nespresso, they sent me a little thing that actually had my name on the like outer sleeve, so I saved pretty pieces of that. And yeah, that's basically art, like drawing and watercoloring in here. This is a little Happy Mail um, spread. These are actually my little watercolors that I put in because I thought they looked nice with that. But yeah, so this junk journal is basically just for whatever um, comes to mind, which is why I like having the two of them together because they're similar but not quite the same. You can see that in the junk journal, I don't really do any actual journaling. They're mostly memory pages, whereas this um, I actually do journal in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little flip through of my traveler's notebook and I will see you guys again soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.